fair trade, organic. first million I got on gear got swole and sold whey protein powder to fucking noobs on the internet this is the definitely the common business model get swole get on some juice get on some gear and sell whey protein cut with rice flour and lots of other cheap bullshit you get from China or whatever lightweight lightweight expensive shippable product with high fucking margins lightweight expensive shippable product that's the marketing model get it weeder weeder started all back in the 50s 60s the synthetic testosterone was around since 1930s eugene sando mr natty was still using amphetamines etc to get that dry cut look if you look at him now he's just like skinny dude compared to what happens from the 30s onwards synthetic testosterone the shit works and then you you have just look it up man there's a blog called iron gangster maybe someone will put, link it down below in the in the comments and he wrote a little, a little article about just the business model he's got a few uh, interviews with joe white etc that's the marketing model that's how you get your first million get on the gear and sell product to chumps who one who don't want to believe the truth and people like me come along and say hey man this dude's on the gear whatever on the hot sauce and they're like oh shut up doing order just because anyone's bigger than you doesn't mean they're on the gear whatever but they're just noobs. They're the people you can make the most money from. Because it's easier to fool those dumb fucks than convince those dumb fucks they've been fooled. It's easier to fool someone than convince them they've been fooled. Simple as that. So I might sound angry and frustrated. Well, I'm just frustrated, basically. And honestly, I was like, I was there myself. I used to believe in fucking miracles and fairy tales and hard work and training. And that doesn't mean all fucking nothing. Unless you're on the gear. If you want to be a soldier, 100% just how it is. Hey. You can disagree with me, but you're still fucking wrong. Go and do a few cycles. Go and hang out with some fucking lifters who actually transfer and tell what the fuck they did. Do it. And then get back to me. Go and work in a gym for fucking years and years and years. I started working gyms back in 1999. I was first exposed to anabolics back in 97 in my friend's kitchen. I've got a little bit of experience. Just a little bit of experience, but I don't have any protein powders to sell you. I don't have any hybrid muscle bullshit to sell you. I don't make my money off my ascetics. <laughs> so that's that's what happens. People say, well, well, they wouldn't do it. Why the fuck wouldn't you do it if your job is to look cut and ripped and dry shredded? And that's your choice. Just because, uh, again, just because some crew do gear, I don't think they're bad people. They just they got kids, they got mortgages, they got bills to pay, man. And there's plenty of sixteen-year-old kids who just want to give, want to give cash, want to give, want to get, want to get swole, want to be big and swole, want to buy bicep balls. And that's fair enough. That's fine. That's just phase everyone goes from. There's plenty of people to cash in on that movement because there's so much money so much money and that's just how it is so ask the question why the fuck wouldn't my fucking guru get on the gear if their job is to be ascetic why the fuck wouldn't they take something to make themselves more ascetic there's no drug tests on youtube you idiot and the reason people lie about getting on the gear is because there's such a social stigma about taking it you can take a contraceptive pill which is a sex steroid to change your lifestyle, improve your lifestyle. But if you take male sex steroids, hey, you're a doper, you're a cheater. You're like a, you're a no, you don't do that. So if you go, imagine that, go to your parents, I'm doing, I'm on steroids. You're on steroids, what do you mean? Oh, I'm just taking a constant pill, sex steroids. Oh, that's okay. I'm on, I'm on steroids. What do you mean? Oh, I'm taking tests. No, 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 you can't take sex steroids unless you're a girl, constant pill, 13 year old. Cause you got a, bit, a few spots in your chin. Fuck your hormones for life. Shut down your HPG access. Shut down your endocrine system. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut down your FSH and LH. That's okay though. Take some sex steroids for your girl. Contraceptive pill. No, don't worry. Teenage girl, no worries. But if you're a grown man trying to support your family, pay off your mortgage, and you take some testosterone because you want to be a soldier and compete with the other guys on it, that's bad. <laughs> so that's why people lie because there's such a social stigma. People go, but such and such, I've met them in real life and they're really nice. They wouldn't do steroids. There's a, another social stigma, but doing steroid makes you a cunt. Does it really? Does it? I know plenty of people on the gear and they're, they're generally nice people. So that's that's another one. People just have this thing in their head like if you take sex steroids, most people don't even know the fucking contraceptive pills are sex steroid. People just, oh, like, oh, like, people just got no fucking idea, do they? They really have no fucking idea. And when someone comes along with a bit of personal experience and shares it with a noob, most noobs are like, no, 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 no.